Hi guys. Right, today on the bench, uh, I've got a Sony TC-FX20 cassette deck. Now, I'm looking at this deck because the speed is running um, roughly about twice as fast as it should do. So the playback speed is, uh, is double time. And whilst this video isn't about this deck in particular, I just thought it might be a good video to make just to show how um, the cassette deck speed works and also um, some quick fixes, some quick troubleshooting um, that you can do yourself just to uh, see perhaps what is causing a cassette deck to run at the wrong speed. So that's what this is about. Um, this particular deck, um, I think I diagnosed the issue to a faulty motor and uh, I have actually sourced a replacement motor for this. Um, it's new old stock. So I'm hoping that will sort it out. But uh, yeah, let's. Um, what we're going to do is get the notepad and uh, we'll just quickly run through a few uh, few troubleshooting tips on how to uh, determine what is causing a problem with a, a speed on a tape deck. So the first thing to know about a cassette tape is that it's the capstan that um, determines the speed of the tape. So I'm just going to quickly draw um, a rough... My uh, drawings aren't the best, so I'll just quickly draw a cassette here. So inside the cassette, you obviously have your um, reels of tape. So I'll just quickly draw those. So this is a supply reel and this is the take up reel. So the tape will travel from this side to this side. Now, the uh, the tape head and the capstan pinch roller are, are normally below the cassette. So basically you put the cassette in the machine and the tape head, the play the playback head, is positioned below the tape. So that's so the tape can literally fit in the machine. And then once it's um, due to play, the playhead will move up. Now also what you have here is a capstan pinch roller. So there's a little roller there and it's normally on, on a little arm. And all of this mechanism is together, so this is all uh, connected to the same to the same mechanism in the in the machine. Now, when you press play on the cassette deck, this mechanism moves upwards into the cassette mechanism itself. So, what you'll have when you press play is the tape head has then moved up into the mechanism here, and also the pinch roller is probably about there. So this is inside the actual cassette itself, and then you have the uh, the mechanism below. So as I said, this this all moves up. Now, the idea of this pinch roller is that it pinches the tape between the capstan and the pinch roller. So the tape here is coming in this. So on, on this uh, non-playing tape, the tape comes along like this, and the capstan. When you put the tape in, the cap, this capstan roller is here. So this capstan roller is spinning all of the time. Usually on cassette decks, it spins all of the time. So as soon as you apply power to the machine, this is always spinning. And it's not until this pinch roller pinches the tape between the capstan and the tape, that it draws the tape through. So in this diagram here, your capstan roller will be there. The tape will come past the playhead between the pinch roller and the capstan and up onto the take-up reel. So you can see now this rubber roller is pinched against this rotating capstan and when that happens it, it pulls the tape through in, in this direction. Now the spindles themselves in the center, these, this one here is um, driven by a gear or a motor in the player, but it's not, um, it doesn't regulate the speed. It's basically faster than the tape can come out of here, out of the pinch roller, um, but it, it's not actually determining how fast it goes through this roller. So this roller and the capstan are pulling the tape through at a predetermined speed, the correct speed for the tape, and then the drive for the spindle here is literally just taking up the excess tape. So 
in some circumstances, you can get a problem where um, the cassette player just chews up tapes. And the normal cause of that is that the drive to this motor or this spindle here uh, is either not spinning fast enough or it's stopped altogether. So you can imagine if, if this stops and isn't powered at all, this capstan will still continue to push the tape through and you'll find that it just sort of all bunches up like this out of the cassette deck and that's why uh, it, term chews up tapes because all the tape spills out like this. Now in the uh, deck that I've got the tape is running too fast so understanding that this doesn't control the tape speed and this does if the pinch roller hadn't engaged properly so if this mechanism here was sticky or stiff or it didn't move up uh, into the correct position it would be somewhere in between this position and this position and what it means is that this pinch roller won't be pinching this capstan so when you press play on the on the machine this mechanism moves up it's meant to pinch this and then this drive to this spindle starts up to take up the excess tape now if this mechanism doesn't come up fully and it doesn't pinch this then the speed of the tape is then driven by this spindle here which as I said before is always spinning faster in order to take up any excess tape so the main cause of a tape running fast you'll find is that the pinch roller is either slipping and that can be just a worn rubber pinch roller or it could be um, they pick up deposits off the tape and they actually become shiny the surface of that rubber roller becomes shiny and it slips or it's just not engaging at all it's not pinching the tape um, and the tape then is then free to just um, come through it at whatever speed this take up reel uh, is set to. So that is the main cause of a tape running fast. In the deck that I have uh, this isn't the case. The, this pinch roller actually wasn't making a good contact to start with. Um, I, I, I freed the mechanism and oiled it and serviced it and now this mechanism is going up and down correctly and is pinching the tape. Um, but it's still running fast. Now it's running about twice as fast. So I don't think it's any of the adjustments in the deck because the adjustments um, you can have for speed on the motor or um, uh, control over that, then they, uh, they're they only roughly about a couple of percent of the total motor speed. You won't find, you know, you can adjust it to twice the speed or half the speed. Um, so in the case of my deck, um, the capstan roller is powered directly from uh, one motor. So in my deck, I have uh, I have the motor here, and then on the back of this capstan roller, you'll find that the capstan roller is is normally on a large um, flywheel to um, to keep the speed stable. So in my deck, I have this large metal um, flywheel with the spindle in the centre there. And then there's a, a belt around the motor. This then drives a large flywheel, and then this part here is the is the spindle, uh, the capstan spindle. So once this is up to speed, because it's a large mass, it's a it's a large heavy wheel. Um, the the speed is unaffected if the motor briefly goes, um, you know, a, a quicker speed or a slower speed, just slightly with a voltage fluctuation or something, it's unlikely to um, alter the speed of this wheel just at that uh, brief moment. So that's why you have this large wheel. Now, in mine, all I've got is the capstan wheel and the motor, and that's it. There's a there's a belt there, so there's nothing in between. There's no gearing or, um, or other bits and pieces, any mechanism in the middle. So the only thing that can be determining the speed of the tape on mine is the capstan. And the only thing that can be turned in the speed of the capstan is the motor. I've checked the voltage uh, to the motor as per the service manual, and it's uh, it's just over 12 volts, about 12 and a half volts, which is uh, within spec. So I've determined that uh, it must be this motor that's faulty. Um, there is actually a circuit inside the motor, so it's it's not just um, a 12 volt motor. It's, uh, it's probably a three volt motor inside or something like that. There's a little board to uh, regulate the power 
So uh, I expect that that's what's faulty. Um, and that's why I've uh, got this replacement motor to try in there. But I just thought I'd uh, quickly tell you about the capstan. So I, uh, I don't know whether how clear this has been for you, but uh, if you've got any questions, you can uh, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. Um, the uh, Just show you the um, capstan on mine. Just uh, let me show you that. So this is my deck here. And you can see we've got the two spindles here. So this is the take-up reel that I was showing you. And if you just look down below here, that hole in the cassette tape itself in the cartridge, this is for the capstan. So you might just be able to see in there that silver tip there, that is the um, that is the capstan reel. And then you can see that the capstan pinch roller is just below there. That's just a freewheeling rubber roller, there's no drive to that. But at the moment it's in the off position. And when you press play, this roller, the pinch roller and the playhead will move upwards into the cassette shell. And you can see that that's going to then move up against this capstan roller and pinch the tape in order to move around. So uh, just take that out and you can have a better look. So there's the capstan roller and there's the pinch roller. And that's what moves up and the tape will go in between these two. And of course, this is uh, this is your take up reel, and that uh, just takes up the slack just to stop the uh, the tape spilling out. Uh, just have a look on the top there. You might be able to see the. I can see it from that side there. So this metal wheel here, this large metal wheel, this is the. Um, this is the back of that capstan reel. So the, 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 this large mass of metal here, this just stops it, uh, stops it affecting the speed at all if there was a voltage fluctuation. This motor, of course, shouldn't be there. I've just taken that off to do some troubleshooting, but um, I just thought I'd show you the back of that capstan So that large metal wheel is, is connected to this. this is, that's the back of this spindle. I just uh, thought it might be useful to some people there just to do some basic troubleshooting. Um, so my, as I said, my diagrams aren't, uh, aren't wonderful, I know that. Um, so uh, yeah, hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.